Hello YouTube, this is Chris, coming to you with Under the Ocean. It is a survival exploration crafting game. Uh, you know, another one to hit the the airwaves. It's uh, actually, the graphics are really good. Um, it does look like Hugo from Lost made it with uh, a smurf and had his, their offspring here uh, get shipwrecked. I don't understand the uh, cartoonish nature of it, but anyway, um, so it's a side-scrolling um, exploration survival game, and to be honest, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of other exploration survival games like Minecraft and even Planet Explorers, which is in alpha now, that um, are a little bit more robust in the fact that uh, you can pretty much go anywhere you want. In in this game, uh, as of, I don't know, a couple hours into it, I haven't really strayed too far, maybe about seven or eight uh, frames to the left. But it's, you know... I don't know, I just don't think an exploration game and a side-scrolling platformer are, are, are the same because it, it's just there's no freedom of movement. And the crafting is difficult at best. The inventory system is atrocious. Um, as you see, I, I'm putting stuff up into the inventory bar at the top, but it fills up really fast and you can't stack things. Um, so you're very limited on what you can actually carry, which maybe is the point, I don't know, of a survival. You're not going to be able to carry everything you possibly can find around, uh, like Minecraft. But, uh, although, other than that, I mean, uh, it's, I think, I think this is the beta build, if I'm, if I'm correct. I, I got it off of Steam, it was, uh, $6.99. Now, $6.99 gets you the game, it doesn't get you any tutorials or any other information. Uh, so, I did a lot of this finding out by myself. I did see a couple of YouTube videos, but there's really nothing in depth on it. Um, I'll throw together a tutorial uh, later. I just wanted to just show this, get this game um, out there for you guys to see. Other than that, it's um, it's it's not bad. I mean, this it just seems uh, kind of limited. <coughs> Excuse me. So I, uh, I ended up putting a couple hours into it thus far, and uh, it's all right. I mean, I haven't really saw anything uh, that really sticks out among, you know, to make it above any other survival game. Like I said, the inventory control is awful. The moving stuff around is really tough, too. Uh, a lot of times if you pick something up, uh, and you'll see in the video, if you pick something up that's like touching something else that's lying down, it throws them up into the air. Um, it's crazy. Also, when you're trying to move things into the inventory box, if there's a cliff above you, or you know, sometimes in, you're moving the item past the tree, it actually gets hung up in the tree or on the on the um, landscape, and then you have to kind of move to an area where it's not in the view, so you can actually move stuff straight up into the inventory uh, box. The crafting is it's difficult. Uh, there's only a few recipes that are actually shown. A lot of the other stuff you have to figure out on your own. I, I don't know how to get uh, the fronds from the trees to make thatch for the roof. Uh, I haven't figured that one out yet. Um, cutting stuff down with an axe, is that's pretty self-explanatory. You use the hammer a lot or the saw. The saw, if you use it on uh, tree trunks, It'll cut them into planks, and then you can cut them down from there uh, into smaller pieces, and then you can build with them. You can also you can make doors out of the planks. You can make windows out of the smaller planks. Um, it's easy to get hurt if you jump too far. You'll get an open wound. If you get uh, bit by a crab, you'll get an open wound, and they can eventually fester and and uh, kill you, which brings you back to the. I, as of right now, I believe it brings you, like, it starts the whole game over again. I think in the future it's planned that it'll bring you back to the closest fire. So here I just built a fire in this cave. Uh, to the left of me is the continuing world. 
and to the right just goes to the ocean and you can swim out I swam out like three or four frames to the right and it's just open ocean there's really nothing out there um, you can get cold so you need fire to stay warm it rains an awful lot so that you know it doesn't help you it can get you sick you get the, uh, the sniffles it says um, other than that I mean it's really I don't even know that much about it and this I can't find a lot of information on the game which I think is kind of a shame especially if you, you put all that time into developing it I believe it was just two people developing this game which for, for that fact alone it's actually a really great show and uh, as things evolve in the beta and get better then uh, it's definitely going to be something that I'll take another look at I'll probably play it for a couple more hours and then put it aside, wait till maybe an update, and then hit it back up again. Um, I haven't been able to spearfish yet. I find that very difficult. I did kill a boar uh, later on in one of the videos. And uh, as you can see, you can eat tomatoes, which will uh, get you, you know, health, uh, health of whatever, hunger. Uh, filling up the water is a pain in the ass sometimes because the water will actually tip the bucket if it's not like you know perpendicular to the waterfall. Uh, it's easy to empty it out and it's hard to fill it up sometimes but uh, this, you can turn the inventory items or the items you have selected with E and Q. This is actually just jumping into the crafting mode now and uh, you can rotate the items so they can fit in the inventory a little bit better or, you know, if you're using the uh, bucket, I didn't realize that you can Q and E uh, at this point. So I hit the bucket off the ground to try to get it vertical to, to take water. But uh, since then, I've, I've learned, um, learned pretty quickly. I mean, spending an hour and a half into the game, and I started, you know, I made a small pot with a stove in it, or a fireplace, I should say. And, I don't know. I mean, I guess either I'm doing it wrong, or there's just not. It just hasn't been developed enough uh, yet to be fully functional. But I mean, I'm enjoying myself, so I, I think it's definitely something to keep your eye on. For six ninety nine on Steam, I mean, even if it wasn't that good, knowing it, I mean, if it still had some playability, it would be worth it. So I definitely think it's it's worth it right now. And you can do, uh, I think on their website, you can do different levels of uh, investment. And you become a partner, you'll get thanks in the final credits, I guess. So that's, you know, something cool. You know, just uh, another indie game. Now, they, they did another game, I believe. It was um, under the, I want to say under the garden, and I, I don't know it, but I guess it was released free maybe in 2010. I have not checked that out, so... Uh, that's one of the other things that these guys have done. So, I mean, I'll uh, I'll definitely put up a tutorial from what I've learned in case anyone does want to try the game out. You won't have to suffer through the same pains that I did. Uh, you know, after about, I don't know, maybe after about 45 minutes, I was almost ready to, to throw my monitor at the wall because it was so difficult to do, just get anything done not knowing the controls well enough and also just the interface itself is kind of clunky and you can see I'm trying to build a spear here and I could put it together put it in my inventory but I wouldn't be able to to actually use it uh, so I had to move the spearhead around so I could actually select it and put it in my hand and that's how I know that it was built correctly otherwise you're just you know staring at it saying well, what the hell um, don't know what else to say about it right now. Um, definitely just give it a look. Maybe check out some other videos if they are um, if they are available, or or ch check back to see my tutorial just to see if it's something that you guys would would be interested in. I'm gonna give it uh, I'm gonna give it an okay right now. Um, definitely gonna try it out a little bit more, and then like I said, I'll wait until some more updates come out and see what other things you can do but uh, it's it's not a it's not a throwaway and it's not um, it, it's worth what 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 I paid for it 
right now. I know it's rough. It's in alpha or beta, like I said. There's a bunch of bugs. The inventory system needs to be looked at because it's, it's absolutely horrendous. And it's very cumbersome. But, yeah, other than that, just uh, take a look at some videos that I'll throw up and then decide for yourself.